This is going to allow us to, um, you know, recreate some of our um, cells in our tile list. All right, this is going to be able to give you the option of setting your scroll vertically or horizontally. This, of course, is for the tile list. This allows us to throw some things on the stage in our main file as well as creating movie clips through our ActionScript file. Video event, this is so we can listen for when the video ends. All right, our events is going to be for our basic, you know, any type of event that we create in the file. And the mouse event is going to be for uh, actually creating some buttons and stuff like that. Text field, this allows us to throw some dynamic text on the stage with uh, uh, some instance names, which is something that we're not going to do. That's just sort of what this is for. As well as uh, setting this up for us in this file, we're going to be using this to actually throw some text inside of our uh, cells. Okay. And of course, the URL loader and URL request. The URL loader specifically is for loading our XML file. The URL request is for also the XML file, but at the same time, that's going to be for some of the buttons that we're going to be using. Um, which, you know what, actually, I don't think we're going to be doing that because we're not specifically calling anything outside with the buttons. So uh, scratch that. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is set up the public class. So we just type up public class and we have to name this the same name as our action script file here. All right, so we're going to say uh, playlist underscore controller opening closing parentheses. No, wait, sorry. Controller extends movie clip. Uh, opening bracket. Next line, and we need to create the loader for our XML loader. So we're going to say private var XML underscore loader colon URL loader semicolon. All right, and uh, for this one, that's all we're putting up here, unless something changes later on. All right. Um, this next bit is for our uh, function for our playlist controller. So we basically need to uh, tell it what we're going to do with it. So let's say uh, public function playlist underscore controller opening closing parentheses colon void opening bracket. All right. Okay. So uh, to load the XML file, we need to put XML underscore loader equals new loader are you new URL loader opening closing parentheses semicolon and uh, the next line XML underscore loader dot add event listener opening parentheses event dot complete in all caps comma start underscore video which is going to be a function that we'll name later on all right, now let's uh, actually give the file path to our XML file. So we're going to say XML underscore loader dot load, opening parentheses, new URL request, opening parentheses. And since I'm going to be working on this locally, we're just going to put uh, master flash. Uh, let's see, what is this? What's the name of that file? Okay, master flash underscore. Uh, streaming without the E and A underscore playlist dot XML. And I forgot one thing to uh, put an opening quotation mark down here. All right. And then uh, we have to close this parentheses and this parentheses. So uh, closing parentheses, closing parentheses, semicolon. All right. And here's we're going to set up our tile list component. So uh, what we're going to say here is tile underscore list dot set size, opening parentheses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this across to make it the size of the actual video player that I've got up there. Not 720, I'm going to make it a little bit larger than that. Uh, so what I'm going to put is 735. This is how you set up the width, all right? And this is how you set up the height right here, all right? So uh, let's say uh, for the column width specifically, we're going to say tile list underscore or tile underscore list dot uh, column width equals, and I'm going to put this the same as the width of our uh, tile list, 735. All right, semicolon, and then we need to set the row height. So uh, I'm going to say tile underscore list dot row height 
equals 50. And um, this is another area that once we're all done with setting up the player and got it working how we want, I'll come back in here and just you know show you how all this stuff works. That way you know what numbers are going to work with what. All right. And for our um, scroll bar direction, what we're going to set here, just uh, tile list under tile underscore list dot um, direction equals scroll bar direction dot dot vertical. All right, in all caps. All right, your other option to that is horizontal in all caps. Okay. All right. So uh, what we need to do here. Now, what we're about to put is the actual path to our other action script file. Okay, so what we're going to say is tile list, tile underscore list, dot set style, opening parentheses. I'm going to call this one opening quotation marks, cell, renderer, closing quotation marks, comma. And here's where we put the value, or in other words, our. Um, other action script file. Okay, so image underscore details. All right, closing parentheses, semicolon. All right, we can go ahead and come down here and close this off. 